This metallic fly is very interested in a casting. You see? She waved at us. Yes, she really wants to be in our movie. Good. If she's so enthusiastic, then let's take a closer look. Has she told you what she can do? Yes, but not much. She is about four millimeter long and loves plant juices of all kinds. Here she is sucking the sap from a leaf. She lays her eggs in the forest floor and her children then like to eat the rotting plants. So she's a beneficial insect? Yes, she does. She helps us humans to remove the rotten leaves from the trees. If she didn't help us, it would stink foul in the forest. The joggers wouldn't be happy. Look, she has golden armor and very pretty eyes. I'll add she to our list for the documentary, just as a break for our eyes. So the next candidate told us he was a jewel beetle. We believed him. There are four deepenings on its neck shield. It loves yellow flowers and can almost only be found on these, probably because the yellow color goes so well with its brown, coppery shell. Its children, the larvae, live on the forest floor and love to eat fir, spruce, larch, and pine needles. They help us to clean the forest floor and turn the hard needles into humus. The adult beetles eat almost everything from yellow flowers, pollen, flower stems, and, if necessary, the leaves. He's pretty, but will that be enough for our documentary? We'll see. I'll put him on our list with a question mark. Unfortunately, this mayfly is not an option for our documentation. As the name suggests, they only live for one to about four days. There is far too little time to make a movie with them. Why do they live so short? As larvae, they need two years to develop. They live in water, so in streams, rivers, or lakes, but only in very clean water. This is why they are becoming extinct in many places. They only develop into flying insects when they want to mate. All larvae in the region must transform into flying insects almost simultaneously. We do not know how this coordination happens. As a flying insect, the males like to fly in the swarm and the females then fly into the swarm to mate in flight. As a fly, the mayfly has no mouth with which it can eat. Their intestines are closed at the back and front and inflated with air. As they cannot eat or drink anything, they die after a short time. They are absolutely harmless to humans and animals. Unfortunately, we do not know what contribution they make to our ecosystem. So that's it. Until later. Until then. <laughs>